This is uh, with the fightgame.tv, and we ran into Mr. Matt Linden. How you doing, Matt? Yeah, how you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. You must be really proud of your teammate tonight, today, actually, because last night he showed great performance. It was uh, fantastic to be here and be a part of it. Um, you know, Dan made history last night, and, um, you know, I think we've been there since since we started this together, and it's great to be uh, be a part of it. Yeah, um, not many people beat Vanderlei, but beating him with a knockout, it's a great accomplishment to anybody's record. You're coming up next with a great fight, a big fight for you. You're going to be fighting Fedor Emelianenko. Now, not only are you going to fight him, which is probably one of the best heavyweights, you know, out there, but you're going to fight him in Russia. How, how does that feel? I'm looking forward to this uh, opportunity. I'm looking forward to getting in there and competing against the best guy in the world. Um, so, you know, it's, a, it's an outstanding opportunity. Do you have anybody else? As far as you're in your camp, that you think is going to be out there competing at that top level right now? We got a lot of young talent. Um, I don't know if anybody's at, at the level Dan and I are at. I mean, we've been doing this for a lot of years. Um, Dan and I, you know, have both been on Olympic teams and world teams and competed at the highest levels in uh, in wrestling, and now we're competing at the highest level in mixed martial arts. And we've got some young guys, some talented guys. But uh, success doesn't happen overnight. Um, you know, all of a sudden, Dan, Dan's an overnight success after, you know, 20, 20 years of, of training and, and the work he's put into this. So, you know, I think that, you know, the young guys that are coming out of our camp got to got to look at Dan and, and look at uh, the amount of time and the amount of work he's put into this and not look at uh, Dan and go, man, this is, this is uh, looks easy, you know, it's because it's not. It's uh it's a culmination of a lot of a lot of years and a lot of time. As far as yourself, have you been training any differently for this fight? Because um, he has a way of stopping people. You know, being able to get on top. You are uh, uh, Olympic, you know, wrestler. Do you think your wrestling is going to be able to compete with his? Uh, he's a great wrestler too. His, his style of wrestling is a little different. It's a uh, sambo style of wrestling, but. Uh, do I think I'm going to be able to compete with him? Absolutely. I wouldn't have taken this fight if I didn't. Um, this is, you know, a great opportunity for me. I'm preparing as I always do, uh, very hard. I'm training. I'm focused on this fight and this fight only. And, uh, you know, I'm going to go in there and uh, give him hell. Do you feel he's um, going to be able to keep it on top, or do you want to actually? Do you want to take it down to the ground and pound the ground? You know, like pretty much your teammates do a lot of time. Um, I certainly would prefer to be on, on the top position in this fight. Um, he's got great stand-up. You know, I can use my stand-up to um, to work the wrestling. And, yeah, I don't necessarily want to be on the bottom of, of uh, Fedor. He's, he's a bigger guy. It's not where I win a lot of fights from the bottom. So I'm going to work to get on top and stay there. And that's that's part of the game plan, yeah. Mr. Lennon, thank you so much thank for the interview. You. It's always a pleasure. Al Nava, Matt Lennon here for the fightgame.tv.